on well, Tonight's TV, uh, bad Friday, so it wants a good Friday for Barnsley to uh, well, Ryan. Um, look at the start 11, just going on about it, mate. I was surprised that Cole started, if I'm being honest. I thought yeah. it had gone with uh, Cosgrove up front. Looking at that, we know that Pines is out for the rest of the season, like now. Nah. Yeah. Playing Williams at right wing back. So you look at me, the central defence, you think, mm, do you know what? We've got players in there, what can do a job? Kane came back in after his two game suspension. Looking at it, potentially looking at that side 11, we should have took on a side, fourth. From bottom of the table, mate, surely. Yeah. You'd, you'd have thought so, mate. Um, I was very surprised to see Colin. He's out of form and yesterday proved just how, 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 how out of form he is. Um, the problem is, as, as we discussed at you know, end of January, there's there's not much. <laughs> there's not much in our bench to do to, a, to you know, a, with regards to options for that, though, is there? So I still thought Cosgrove should have started. I think mm-hmm. out of the strikers, he, you know, they're not, none of them are scoring many goals, but he's the one that looks to be, he offers something, else, you know, him and McAtee offer something else to the squad as well as goals, don't they? A bit of a threat, um, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, it would just. Disappointing sh- for me, Ryan. I mean, you're looking at players here, we've just been on about it. Disappointing for me, apart from own goal, which was, Shocking at best, it were absolutely abysmal. You never pass on target, mate. Something you learn as something you learn as a kid. You never pass back on target. It's it's, it's something you learn as a kid. You know that Roberts is left footed. You pass out to left, pass it to the left. Why is he even passing back to uh, Roberts? It seems to be with that with that dependent now a sideways and backwards passing. It's oh, we'll always look for that backwards pass. I've I've watched it back and back and back again. I'm thinking he could have just laid it off to his right. Sorry, yeah. to his left, uh, William and Williams were being in right back row. He could have just dinked it there. Williams could have cleared it, but no. It's that same old, same old way we pass back, pass back, slow build up, predictive, slow, boring football, mate. And I don't know what's that because we, 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 we seem to have got rid of it, didn't we? And we were playing more attacking football. And I know sometimes you need to play teams that play a bit more like that, but we should have the you know the ability to to force our style of uh, you know our game plan onto onto teams, especially teams down bottom end of the league. It's just he's almost like he's got absolutely no idea what to do when a side sits back. It's the same stuff we've been watching most of the season. When they sit back, it's just boring. It's slow. It's ponderous. It's predictable. It's dull. It kills the atmosphere at Oakwell because what is it to get excited about? It's all right saying get behind him. Get behind what? Get behind what? It, 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 you can do it for a bit during the game, but then after like 15, 20 minutes, when it's the same thing over and over again, you just get fed up, mate. It's fed up, you're fed up of watching it, you know. And it's, um, it's, it's a really tough watch. The amount of times this is against Cheltenham as well, and again, um, Cambridge, the amount of times we've got a decent break on, and we just slow it up. Yeah, we don't even get in behind them, we just slow it up, we get down there, and they don't put a ball in. And then, um, and then let, it's, like, it's almost like, oh no, no, let's let's let them get set, let you know, make it fair, let them get back into defence. We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't want to get gain an unfair advantage. And also, again, against Cheltenham and against Cambridge, just the, the amount of times that we get down into attacking third and we just overplay too many passes, pass, pass, sideways, backwards, sideways, never getting a ball in, and then eventually don't even get a shot or a crossing and lose the ball, goes out of play. Oh my god, it would it's just been rubbish, mate. We've just played two teams, one in bottom four, one just outside bottom four at home, right? In in a critical, you know, crucial time of the season where teams around us are winning. We're trying to gain we, we, we were trying to push for that top two. And we've been not only we're we not won, we've been nilled in both games, mate. Yeah. At home. And anybody that thinks it's anything other than unacceptable is 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 deluded. Because it's absolutely unacceptable. And those performances from from top to bottom, from tactic tactics from coach, from substitution from coach, and level of performances on field from players, it's not been good enough. They haven't been nowhere near good enough. No. So I mean, need to have a long hard look at the sense, mate, because now you know, top two's definitely gone now. I know there were a few comments on, on last video we did now where we got beat by Lincoln. Mm. And we were saying it would over, you know, we automatics look like they're over now. Um and people were saying, "Oh no, it's not. Oh, it's not quite over. <laughs> it is now. It is now. It, it, it is now. We got offered a lifeline by Derby last season, getting beat. 
and we've got Cambridge, who haven't won in seven. You know, they've been getting, they've been, I think they got thumped 6 0 by it, were it Lincoln? Lincoln? I think it was, yeah, I think it was, defeat 4 0 recently as well. So, to, aside that we beat 4 0 earlier in the season and we've come out and they just, we didn't trouble them at all. It's all right saying we had most at ball, saying we had 71% possession, 16 shots, but only three of them were on targets. And how many corners did we get? None. No corners at all. Zero. It's all, isn't it? Is it all, mate? It says everything about what those shots were. They were pathetic. We 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 worked the keeper once. That that shot. That that nice. The what that the nice little passage of play, and Al, uh, um, Adam Adam Phillips got that shot off. Keeper made a good save. Who oh, didn't follow it in? McAtee and Cole weren't there to follow it in. Yeah. And it's just it was just it's shocking, mate. And 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 this this I like I say this idea of the um, the top two being gone, mate. Playoffs are going to be gone if we don't pull his finger out. I'm telling you, we won't win. We, we play like that, we will not win another football game. Because if you look at the, the running, you looked at the running, and people say, No, we've got the best running because we're playing take sides near at near at bottom. They're all just gonna come, they know how to beat, they know what to they know what to do. Mm. They're the sides that are gonna come for sale. I'd be more confident if we were playing someone like Derby or Bolton, because they come out and play football and it lends itself to our style. Mm. I know it sounds crackers. No, no, you mean no. when we play sides that can't that, that sit back. We, that's what that's what lends itself to that style of play. When we when we don't play those sort of teams, we don't play that football. And I, I can't understand why all season, when we've come up against sides that that adopt that tactic against us because they know it's they know it's successful. How we've not managed to crack that code. Mm. Even try just try something different, Neil. Just try you know what I mean. Just try something different. Don't keep doing the same boring shit that you keep doing. Week in, week out with the sideways, backwards, sideways, backwards, miss pass, too slow, ponderous, not n- n- literally no, nothing dynamic about his play at all, not changing formation, not prepared to take chances, just sticking with the same old stuff that doesn't work and hasn't worked all season, that ends up, you know, largely ineffective and um, and just kills the atmosphere at all. Well, like I said, it just pisses the fans off and it's just... I don't know, mate. Well, like I, said, I mean, it might be a knee jerk reaction, but I just feel a bit, little bit like a season's over because if we just keep like doing this, we're either not going to make playoffs. If we do make playoffs, we're not going to do all in it. So, I mean, that game against Cambridge, I'm thinking lads have had two weeks off, they've been refreshed because there have been some, you know, you know, midweek, week and midweek. But right, lads have been refreshed. They've got been working on stuff in training, whether it be set pieces, passive play, attacking formation, fat, whatever it was. I'm watching that game, me, and I'm thinking, this seems like it's this game of season after a, a dodgy pre season. Yeah. Like the passes were woeful, the crosses weren't beating second man, nobody was chasing up, nobody's creating a run to make space yeah. for, a, for attacking play. It was like as if to, it was like for me at times as if. Players didn't know one another's we ever played it for passing to them, and it was like they didn't understand one another's game. And I'm thinking, yeah. have we gone back in time here or something? Have we completely like thought, hey, oh, we've all switched off here, we don't know what we're doing? It, that side it come across as me is that this looked like it was first game of the season after pre season, and yeah, we've got some new players in this, we're learning one another's style or play or this or other. So that passive or woeful, you're looking for another lap for a run. And the players are still there. And this, and this really, really frustrates me. When you see a player asking for the ball, they get the ball, they swing the double, look for it, they just ping it. And be like, oh, I thought you would make it one behind me. I thought you would. And they're blaming one another. I'm thinking. Arguing with each other, mate, on fail. Are you not working and missing training? Are you not working for this dummy? Are you not Sorry. thinking, mate, I'm going to run onto this ball? I thought you were running back. And time and time again, I've seen it. I'm thinking, what have I been doing in training? Exactly, mate. I asked said exactly the same thing. Who like they've been off for two weeks? He says what they've been doing? What they've been doing in training? It's exactly it's non-existent. Same. It's exactly it's the same. Non-existent. They come out and played exactly the same way. And what's what's I've, I've been, you know, a supporter of Neil Collins for a lot of the season. But what I've seen of late is really worrying me because we come out against same against Cheltenham, same against Stingy. We didn't play well against Carlisle. You know, we won the game, but we were holding on against bottom of the league end of the game. You know, let's let's have it right. Um, um, you know we've got we got smashed by uh, we got smashed by Lincoln, and 
what's worrying for me against Cheltenham and against Cambridge is that when they come out for so you can see what's happened in first half. You can see how the game's gone in first half. Mm. Especially more against Cambridge, because we're a bit better against Cheltenham, weren't we, at first half? But certainly yesterday is when you can clearly see what we were doing weren't working. It didn't work. It weren't working. They got us sussed. We'd we'd gone a goal behind to a, a ridiculous, ridiculous back pass. You know what I mean? And then he's come out for the second half and just it just exactly the same. No change, nothing, no change. Just straight back to it, and it just went on and on. It would just dragged and dragged, and it got to I think eighty-seven minutes. And I just says, "Come on, let's go." I've had enough. I've, I've I've had enough. You know, the substitutions were were baffling yesterday. I mean, just baffling. You know, as soon as Cosgrove took his shirt off, uh, sorry, he was putting his shirt on, sorry, at sidelines, I went, "He's going to put. He's going to take. He's going to take McAtee off." What's this? I said, "If he takes McAtee off, yeah. there's going to be hell on." If he takes him off, because Cole were absolutely garbage yesterday. He did nothing. He did nothing yesterday. He offered nothing else to the team at all. He were really, really poor. As were many eight players, I have to say. I'm not just pointing finger at Devante Cole. I'll but get Mac on about that a bit later. But yeah, I know McAtee was trying that. to make something happen. You know, he were trying to make something happen. He, and when we take McAtee off, we lose all his impetus up front a lot of time. We just lose that edge that we have up front, that pace and that chasing down. We all know McAtee could finish a bit better, right? Mm. He's, you know, I think that's holding him back. Awesome. Minute, that's his finishing. But he offers a lot more to team. He offers a lot of spirit. He offers he offers that press from the front. He puts effort in. He runs he runs his heart out. And that's all. He, he was one of the only players yesterday that were putting a shift in. And then... He, let, he took him off and left Cole on. And then even, even later, when it got to the point where Watters were coming off, I thought, oh, Christ, can't be Watters in squad. But anyway, he was bringing Watters on. I thought, I said to Aroska, I said, we can't do any worse than, than Cole. And, and he took Adam Phillips off and left Cole on. And I was like, what am I even watching here? What I, what I can't. Then he, then he brought, then he took McCart off and put Williams into centre-back. <sighs> to accommodate. He one centre-back on the, on the bench. Not one centre-back on the bench we had. I know, to accommodate um, Corey O'Keefe. So he's going to accommodate Corey O'Keefe to go in at right wing back. Right, so if you want to accommodate Corey O'Keefe at right wing back, why is Jordan Williams not coming off? Mm-hmm. If if you want to put him at right wing back, Williams is clearly not having a good, good enough game for you at wing back, otherwise you won't need to bring him on. Yeah. So then why are you shifting him into the team? Why? Because he's captain. Mm-hmm. So then you're taking McCart off. Uh, at centre back, so you're taking McCart off and bring it, bring in O'Keefe on, right? So you're taking one of your tallest centre backs off, right? Which didn't it really help us out for their second goal, did it? Anyway, so he's brought McCart off and put him on. Then he's put him at right wing back. Then he's brought Cotter on and put him at right wing back. So we've had three well, players back to left. Back. Yeah, yeah. Back to left. It's like, how do you expect players to know what's going on? How do you expect them to be able to function? You know. Uh, 100% or near to that when you're constantly swapping and changing people positions but not changing the formation you know we were 1-0 down at home in a game that we really needed to win and he took a striker off for the striker and I'm like oh, come on do you know what I mean have, grow a pair you know what I mean fucking grow a pair and let's have it and let's see what and, and, and let's try something else try something different but the time that we did it when we played Portsmouth at home we were 3-0 down we went 4-4-2 and we played them yeah. apart for the second half how could he not get some good feedback from that, you know, as a coach and think, oh, it did work. Let's let's try it because this isn't working and we really need, you know what I mean? And and if he did try it and pushed on, fans would be a lot more appreciative, the fact that he tried to change it. But when you just stick to the same old thing that's not working, that's why you get the reaction from the fans that you get at the moment. Because And, and, it, and, it, and it was warranted yesterday. Because he's not been, you know, we've, that's now four games unbeaten at home. Sorry, four games uh, without a win at home, sorry. In... You know, and three of those performances have been absolutely dire. And I mean, like, proper dire. Um, this what gets me with second half performance is that after the first half, I'm thinking, right, things need to change. Either the formation or I was expecting some something to come on in, in second half, at, at beginning of second half, if I'm being honest. But something had mm-hmm. to change. Like I said, be a call. I'm not singling call out personally on his own, but Cole, Papua, Williams, Kane. Sideways, backwards, it will get tackling. It will again. He could he could go through a side, and we'll come on to play uh, play it uh, man at match a bit later on because I can pick one out. I don't think anybody's dead. If I'm being honest, we're all bad average. If 
but uh, yeah. again, you know, I'm being uh, kind at bat. So again, for me, I expected some kind of change, and I'm, I'm glad you mentioned this as well about the car going off. You take off at one of your tallest centre backs, and you look at the, the goal, the second goal we conceded, cross from him from there, unchallenged, played it across in off at post. I'm thinking back just about sums us up that. Bar sums us up, mate. Eleven players yeah. in box. Eleven yeah. play. We've got eleven players in box. We never leave a striker out on halfway line ever. We never leave McCart. Uh, uh, Everybody's uh, back. Or, 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 or call out on uh, out for uh, away for break. He brings eleven back, right. and that's all right if it works. Twice what? yesterday, twice because they right. were really. I say Cambridge were really unlucky to not be given that second goal because I saw. Yeah, I didn't wrong. see it. Wait, I was sat literally. You know, in line with it, well, just just after right, but in line, and when it came over, and I looked straight at Lino, Lino started to go up. I'm like, What's did you back? What's I didn't even know to it. And at points, I said to my son, I said, Look at this here, there's three Cambridge, uh, Cambridge, uh, players yeah. on back post, one one bounded de uh, defender. And he, he's like, Which one do I follow? Cambridge made back run, one brought one created space, it was a free header, and we're nothing up with it, mate. And I'm thinking. Yeah. They were unlucky not to put someone on. And it wasn't the people the FU behind the site saying, we're not talking with that. No, there were, everyone, everyone around me said they were not wrong with that. Yeah. They're not wrong with it. It looked, it was 2 nil, mate, and it should have been 2 yeah. So it should, this, this result should have been a lot worse. So there were twice yesterday on occasions where there's, he puts 11 players back and they're beating us to Edda. Yeah. Quite convincingly, shall we say. Yeah. And the fact that he took McCart off as big, you know, as big, big centre-back, I'm not saying he's definitely going to get there, but you've got no excuses yeah. when you take a big, tall centre half off. We're playing through the middle. Yeah. Yeah. You take him off, and then, you know, we get beat to an header easily in, in, in his own area uh, and concede a goal. So it, it was shocking all round, mate, yesterday. And I, I tell you, there's another thing that I'm a bit concerned about, Neil, is. There's something wrong. You can see it, can't you? You can see there's something wrong with squad. There's something wrong with players. It's either they're not playing for that. They're constantly falling out. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there's something. I don't know if obviously it'd only be speculation, but it looks like to me that there's something not right. That it either it, has he lost the dressing room, has there been a fallout? What is it? Because something's not right, mate. Yeah. We've gone from having that. You know, it worked so very long ago. We had. We look really together, and you know, especially against Derby, and it, everything looks to be pointing in the right direction. And it's summit's clicked, mate. And Definitely all sides go through bad form, but we are playing woeful. I don't. God knows why we've returned to this style of football. No, I, we'll I, get on about Burton game. Go for about one, mate. Football in a minute. Another thing, what's concerning for me, Ryan, after the game, um, I've been, I, I, not an happy clapper. I'm not an apple clapper by far, when you call it as it is. And I've always tried to de defend Collins in, you know, the recruitment, the backing. You know, players need to, along our look at the sends on pitch, it's not all about the manager, but, you know, the last couple of games I've been looking at Collins and some of his tactics, his substitutions. His, I'm thinking, right, I've got to question this because clearly everybody can see McAtee when he got subbed off and what was going around the ground. Yeah. But it won't end at McAtee. Like you said, uh, Ryan, the fans were started chanting McAtee. It won't about McAtee as a player. Yeah, being, we obviously, everyone were, did that. We didn't want him to think. I, I think because yeah. we booed at the time. I think fans were thinking, I hope that I hope because even our officer said, I hope he didn't think that that was for him. No. And uh, then everyone started singing his name. So hopefully he, he realizes yeah, that he that understands word. that he won't aim at him personally. Yeah. But what the worrying thing with me for I am, we were on about this a uh, bit off air. I've watched it and heard it. You have as well. Probably a council of Bounds fans as well. Collins's interview on iFollow and BBC Radio Sheffield, mate. The world, and I think he must have been watching the game. Just, Under yeah. Duff, if it was shit, he called it out as shit. And, it, yeah. and I thought, fair play. Collins, mate, is starting to see different things, and I don't like just, that as a just, gaffer. Right, just, honestly, mate, I were hoping that he were going to come out and, and say, you know, yeah, that weren't good enough. It's not good enough. It's not acceptable. You know what I mean? We, we missed a great opportunity. You know, and come out and, ask, yeah, and come out and looking. just talk what he said. Well, I, I, listen, there's putting a positive spin on stuff, and then it's just been outright deluded. Yeah. And I'll, I'll be honest with you, he's just going to just piss more fans off than anything with that yesterday. Mm. Um, just because 
you know, to say stuff like, I mean, the, the, the worst one, the worst things to come out with say that the, the, the result did not re reflect the performance. I'm like, I can't believe that. What, what are you, what are you on about, mate? It yeah. should have been, we should have lost 3 0 at home because they, they were yeah. not wrong with their second goal. We got beat, should it convincingly by the, by, you know, fourth bottom or fifth bottom, aren't they, whatever they are. And, uh, and we've been nilled again at home by a side down at bottom at league when we, when we desperately needed wins to push on. You know, it, there's, to sit there and say that the the performance doesn't doesn't reflect the the the, the result is just it's just deluded, mate. It's just deluded. It's just absolute bullshit. It's not. I don't it's like not, it. I don't it, like it. Just, I... Just, no, I, I don't like calling it. I'd say it's just absolute. It's absolute rubbish. And then after that as well, um, in saying that we created some excellent chances, I'm like, really? Which ones? Do you want to point them out? Because. Literally the only clear goal scoring chance. Obviously, we had them two misses, didn't we, early on, where they've where they've not put them away. But I'm like proper clear chances that we've created. Matip post and clip post, post, and then the the one way the one way Cadden, I can let him off for that because he come through and it sort of hits him. He do not hit him. Yeah, so like, it's it's it sort of hits him more than anything. Um, it comes at him in a flash. He don't he don't actually take a shot if you like. But. Um, well, the, the only one I can really think of is the Phillips one where keepers made it. He has made a good save, but he should have probably taken it away. Nobody, but there were, you know, nobody time to follow oh, follow it. So again, saying that we created excellent chances, I'm like, really? And then I listened to Josh Earl as well after the game. Now I've been a really big fan of Josh Earl, but again, yeah, yeah. saying that there were some really good performances F from who? Mm. From who? You get a lot more respect if you came out and said it as it was. Oh, what it was. It were poor, and we've been poor at home all season for the majority of it even when we've won I mean how many times how many times have we limped past teams yeah yeah, yeah. when we just limped past them um, so yeah it was really disappointing to hear that from Collins to be honest with you I was hoping for something a bit more out of him but the worrying thing I'm is, call it if, what it was, I don't know if he's trying to put a good spin on it or if he actually genuinely thinks that because if he genuinely thinks that Winning time, yeah. dead, mate. You may, as, you, may, you may as well call it season over now. You may as well call it over now because if he thinks that that's playing well, mm. a Christ, I don't want to see is when he thinks we're playing bad. No, true. Getting on about playing. If that's, his, if that's his, that's his thought process, and, and and how he saw that how the game went. How can we expect to win playoffs with that with that mentality? I don't. Do you know what I mean? And I have been a fan of Collins, but and. And tried not, you know, especially early on when people were saying we, it, it, Collins out, you know, I thought we needed to give him a chance. But these last few games, mate, he, he needs to book his ideas up because yeah. it's, it's, we're not doing anything, mate, this season. Um, we're not, we're not, we're definitely not getting promoted, mate. We're either going to fall, we're either going to limp out of playoffs and end up like Derby last season and end up in seventh or eighth, or we're going to get in and we're going to get knocked out quite easily because we're, what we're doing at the minute is not working. Um, Long hard season, all unra unraveling at me. Yeah, it needs to, it needs to change, mate. It needs to change sharpish. Um, but my sharpish, ben, I mean, can he, can he change it? And does he have the does he have the squad to change it? Well, just, you're on about change sharpish. We've got another game coming up, which is kind of good on the second day. Is like Burton. Yeah. Again, I'm lo I'm looking at table like now. They drew. Um, so they're just outside the playoffs. Uh, sorry, the playoffs. Out of the relegation by a point. Um, some teams won. I mean, Port Vale won, Cheltenham won yesterday as well. Carlisle won. So again, it's, we've got to be on a little battle going off here between yeah. probably Cheltenham, Port Vale, Burton, Cambridge, Shrewsbury, Reading. Maybe you've got them them teams there all around about 39 to 45 points. So yeah, pretty, pretty tasty down there. It's going to change sharp against Burton, but. Again. We know, know Burton are going to do, mate. Because they, they, no, what we're going to do? Doing, whoever's been doing the scouting for these teams, mate, know exactly what to do against Barnes at Frustrators. Yeah, we've all got a game plan on how to, you know, how to get a point or or, or even beat us. Because they just if sides just sit back and you know put all the men in their half, just you know sit in a really disciplined formation. We, we, they just know that we haven't, we can't, we've got no idea how to break them down. And if Burton do that on Monday at home. <laughs> Then there's, a good, a, chance chance start there's 11? a good chance it'll get a result against us, mate. Would you make a change at starting eleven? Yeah, drop. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I'd, I'd, I'd drop call um, for, um, for 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 Cosgrove because his performance were were dire. I don't think bring Jallo in to to um, to subs bench if he can. Um, 
I think we just need a bit of a change, mate. Right, I mean, Benson and Grant. They're supposed yeah, bring, to be bring, over in the deal. Benson in and Grant. In. Maybe not into starting eleven. No, bring him, in, into, bring, him into, bring him into bring him into bring him into sub bench as an option because we need something different. What what, what we've got at the minute ain't working. It he just looks drab and boring. But I mean, defence. Would you go with the same? Gibney, Earl, and McCarts. You won't put Williams. Yeah, we've almost choice, have we? <laughs> I mean, I mean, I know. Um, you see him playing Williams back in centre. I know Cundy. I know Cundy's fit. I know Cundy's fit, and he, he did get asked in here about Cundy, um, um, Collins, and he said, "Yeah, he is. He is available to play, but just didn't quite make the squad." So he'd be on bench. Maybe have him on bench, mate. Yeah. Maybe you don't think you'll put Williams in centre back, would you? you don't no. Nah. Nah. I think you know as well with the back, back three. I'll tell you where I think it's going wrong. Well, is we've we've looked really different since we've had, since we've not had Degivney in the centre in, in centre at back three because he he was so pivotal but picking the ball up and and getting it out of defence and picking it up and going with it. McCart, I, I like McCart, but he, he just he, he's a lot of sideways and stuff in it. It's a lot of sideways and backwards stuff with him going through the middle. Whereas he like like obviously he's not as good as Maz, but Maz was balanced, saying, isn't it? Ball, and try and do something with it. I think we've lost that impetus coming out of defence. We're putting, we're not putting uh, the give near um, in centre anymore. Some balance in that it. season. It's, it's, it's some balance because uh, you've got Erlo's predominant left footed. You've got McCart same, and then you got the give near. I get, so I get, like, I get, why, I get why he's doing it. I get why he's mm. doing it because McCart can't play at right centre back, can he? Mm. Otherwise, he would have done earlier in the season. But it just goes to show how unbalanced squad is, though, doesn't it? Oh, man, it's just, it's just, you know what I mean? When we had three, we had three right wing backs on yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> one time, oh, when we're two 0 down at home trying to win a game, and it, it, you know, yeah. you know what I mean? We've got we're, we're, we're limited striking options, and he's got three wing backs on, two of them playing out of position. It's just, it would just laugh. It's just laughable, mate. That poor. And we've had a beginning season when we took Mickey out at fans, didn't we? Sign a striker. Yeah. Oh, we, we bet, bought Vel seven notes. Sign a striker. Yeah. Yeah. I tell you, mate, how, how it's been managed. Our squad in these transfer windows has been poor. You know, we did get Pines and, and Early, and both both really good signings. But to, you know, when we realised that we needed extra striking options or attacking options, that final and, push in it, yeah. And that two for, for two reasons we've we made a we've made a bollocks of it is one we didn't get the we, we put all those eggs in one basket and didn't get that kid from Blackbird. But then we've let those other striking options go out on loan. I don't recall them, you know what I mean? We've got players. All right, you might not think they're up to scratch, but at least it's another option. It's another option. It's something else. We just never got anything now. No, got no. Anything. We, we, you know, awesome. it's either one or other. You know, one of them, one of them's one of them's a slightly less, you know, slightly worse option than other, but at least it's an option. You know, we bring Dallas. <laughs> just put a positive spin on that, man. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, at least it's an option. It's something different. It's great, but it's an option. We, we haven't even got that option, though, mate. It's not even well, there. Less of the two evils, isn't it? Yeah, not, yeah the no, less of the totally two evils, evils exactly. It's less of the two evils, but yeah. we haven't even got the less of the two evils, mate. We haven't even got that. No. So, uh, East, East, Easter Monday, Ben, Burton away. Yeah. I'm going to ask you, score prediction, Ben, I, I just want to ask you another question, and then up and beside to everybody else what's watching. This will be an interesting one where I saw on Twitter as well earlier on. So, score prediction, Burton away, mate, come Easter Monday. What, what are you going for? I've, I've been saying, like, we're going to beat Cheltenham 3 0, 4 0, and I said Cambridge 3 0. I'm, 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 I think we're going to draw, mate, I'll be honest. I, I'm, I know that sounds ridiculous and we really need a win. I know that sounds, and I'll probably get pelters for it, but. I'm, I'm going to say one all draw because I think we'll concede. I think I'm going to say one all draw and it'll be as dull as dishwater. Well, do you know well, what? I, I want to say, I want to say, I hope I'm wrong. Yeah. Do you know what? Looking at the Burton pitch in Pettin areas, it's like more like resembling a Blackpool Beach rather than a, a pitch for mm. and mud and back. I said it, it's going to be a scrappy two. I said two one, but I could also see it being a one apiece because I, mm. I just think. It's going to be one of them kind of games. Sell out, bite bounds if fans. So, you know, going to a great following. I just hope that the team bounce back and show the fans something. Because yeah. I could see this game, and it's going to kind of lead me on to my second question, the, the last question for video of this. I could see this game being 
if a draw, I'm going to be like Ben looking at other results because I could see us going that way a whimper because I'm looking at some of the sides what we've got. Yeah. You've got Stevenage, you've got Portsmouth, you've got Charlton still, you know, Blackpool still. There's some tricky games in there and I'm looking at Lincoln, Oxford, Stevenage, Blackpool on 60 points and some people say, oh, yeah, but we're on 60, but we're out of it. Look, we're on 71. We're on 71. Yeah. They can string a few results together and we don't pick up points. We could go from back 71 and teams like on our court tells here. This kind of leads me on to set the final question, Ben Ryan. And I've seen it and there's been some good content and some good debate about this as well. Someone said, if if we do manage to get into playoffs and, you know, find a position and, and that, would you be happy getting promoted, yeah, knowing full well, looking at some of, you know, results we've had at home and back against some of teams in League One? Yeah, <laughs> when it opens at championship, and this is crystal ball time, by the way. I'm not like saying I don't want people like saying, Oh, Neil, we're blah blah blah. But happy. I'm not happy copying, but I'm looking at all angles. Is that if we were in championship with this? I mean, Jesus Christ, we're gonna to have to have some in, investment in squad anyway. I think we yeah. played that contract. Would you be happy going up into a championship more or less getting his ass whipped week in, week out, or? Have another season league one because oh, it's, it's um, a tough one, this mate. I want to be a championship, it's, 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 it's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you know, the, the, the new TV deals coming in at championship, and we could do with that cash injection to, to, to balance books because obviously we've lost money the last two seasons. Um, we lost quite a bit of money the last two seasons, and, and you know, and 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 owners are having to bang money in, aren't they? So, no, he's having to bang, bang money into kit to, to balance the books. So I think, you know, is it is it do we go to a championship and more than likely have his ass handed to us for a season, or but we can probably balance the books with with it with it with a cash injection from the from the TV deals, um, because I think if we if we if we stay down in League One, we're going to lose a lot of players because a lot of them are out of contracts and most of them are not likely to resign. So there's going to be a massive rebuild job. So chances of getting anything out of next season are going to be are going to be slim. And we're gonna have another season of, of of stretch finances have been have been in League One. So I don't know, mate. I mean, it is hard work going into Championship and watching your team get pumped every week. It's hard work. Mm. But I think on, on reflection, just just purely from a financial standpoint, I think I'd rather see us get obviously I'd rather see us get promoted and take us, at least take his chance in Championship. Yeah. At least take his chance and see and see what happens and see if we can actually manage to stay. You know, just maybe, maybe manage to stay up. And, and get a good cash injection coming into it with that new TV deal. Um, but like as a fan, it's really hard work watching your side struggle every week, week in, week out. Um, there's no, there's no easy answer to it, is there? No, <laughs> both, no. Both are probably, both are probably. Um, well, you got pros and cons on both sides. Yeah, you, options. But I think, I think, I think on reflection, I'd actually, I, I can't see us getting promoted, mate. If I'm being honest, if if I, I think it's going to be. I, th- I think you know. I think the second option of staying in League One is going to going it's going that hand's going to be forced upon us as fans anyway. Looking at what's happening at minute with squad and what's that and how we're playing and 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 clearly Neil Collins's levels of delusion. Um, listening to his bloody interviews, but anyway. But if it were a personal choice, I think I'd rather see us get promoted and take a, at least take his chance yeah. and and try and balance the books from a financial standpoint. Yeah. Yeah, I'm. I'm just trying to. I, I'm just trying to like weigh up. I agree with what you're saying. I mean, obviously, we want to be in championship, and it is, you know, it's not balancing books and that. And worrying things is that if we are in League One, the amount of players that could go and not willing to sign, you know, we've still got the two loan uh, players as well. Things could be a lot more bleaker in League One. Maybe, you know, certain players might have to be sold, like I said, to balance books. Near, I can't keep pumping money in all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, right corner as well. That should be dual. Next month or two, what we, what the fine is that's going to be? Is that going to be a financial impact? Again, there's a lot of if puts and maybe's. Um, we just need to bounce back from this. And again, we all stick can support the club through thick and thin, but at times you need to call things out. And when it's not going right, you need to call it out. We have been respectful. I think we've been respectful anyway. We always are respectful. 
And again, it's, it's not as if you just met in Old Chalk. The vast, many, many thousands of fans voiced their uh, disapproval yesterday. Um, and again, it over previous games. So it's not that we're making Old Chalk for all the stuff like that. I'm just calling it as it is. No, it's not. It's... You know, the Good Friday turned into a bad Friday. I'm hoping that Easter Monday is going to be an happy Easter Monday. But again, that's going to be down to the players, the staff. We as fans will do our bit. Down to players on the pitch to do their bit, Ryan, isn't it? Really? Yeah, they need to. They need to pull the finger out. I, I hope they're not because a lot of them look like they're sulking as well. You know what I mean? They're not going to come out and sulk because because fans are unhappy. We're perfectly entitled to be unhappy with. Perfectly entitled to be unhappy with the recent performances. And um, yeah, we need we need we need a big we need a big change. Money. But, but to be fair, Neil, we've been saying that since Lincoln game. We've been saying we need to see a performance. I I, I haven't seen one yet. No. No. Uh, game, you know. Well, it comes on Monday, uh, for Easter Monday. Um, uh, I think the, 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 definitely the fans and the travelling fans as well, certainly, you know, back in lads and that, they certainly need it and something to, uh, you know, right, right some wrongs, uh, you know, again, kick start and probably kick up asses and for a few of them to uh, yeah. rejig and refocus. Ryan, as always, it's been a pleasure, mate. Uh, yes, well. to show you one fair bit of content. People, what's been watching? Let us know your thoughts about the, uh, you know, about the uh, score predictions, about the changes, about what, you know, what would you think's going to happen? League One Championship, uh, the change in formation, Collins himself calling things out when really, you know, other fans saw it different. Be always interested to get your thoughts, and always I, I will reply to them. Uh, so it wants a good Friday. Well, definitely a bad Friday for Barnsley. Oh well, let's hope we back on road against Burton on Easter Monday. Let's hope we can try and salvage something from this uh, festive holiday bank holiday period. Um, it's going to be a bit of a tough call, but again, might be a scrappy one. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. One thing.